Migration of birds is a fascinating phenomena. How birds fly over thousands of miles in search of food and water. India is a major stopover for them in their journey of wings. Bharatpur is a paradise for migratory birds. There are some 10,000 species of birds in the world distributed in 31 orders. About 1,200 species of birds are found in India. home to thousands of birds, especially during the winter season. The Kevala Deokana National Park in Bharatpur, Rajasthan is a famous avian fauna sanctuary. Declared a protected sanctuary in 1971, it is now a World Heritage Site. As we arrive at the railway station, an enchanting road leads us to the sanctuary. Driving down the path, lined by greenery, is an experience in itself. Once the hunting grounds of the Bharatpur royalty, the sanctuary was created 250 years ago out of a depression flooded after the Ajan Band was constructed by Maharaja Surajmal at the confluence of two rivers, the Gambhir and the Barn Ganga. A lake was developed which was further divided into several portions. The water level in different sections was carefully controlled. Thus, the existing marshland became a haven for migratory birds. Shooting of ducks was organized every year in the honor of British viceroys. In 1938, over 4,273 birds, such as mallards and teals, were killed by Lord Linlithgow. This wetland is a bird film wetland. But it was made by Maharaj Churajman. He made it for the Shikarga. The ducks, which come from the Pakshi, in the summer of Siberia and Central Asia, it was made for that. Nehru made it in 1956. 1981 April Today the wetlands of Bharatpur embrace within its lap a number of lakes and marshes, home to countless rich diversity of birds unique in itself. Covering some 29 kilometers of mostly marshy land, the park included large tracts of semi-arid woodland and scrub. And our park, it's uh, uh, 28.73 square kilometer and uh, the wetland part is around 10 square kilometer. So the main management of the water park is based on the availability of the water. So we intake water by July uh, with the, uh, related to the monsoon. And we have different blocks here, five of our main wetland blocks and we have canals and sluice gate. Through the sluice gate we manage the wetland, uh, the water level in the wetlands. Towards the south of the park, the scrub thins out and gives way to a grassland surrounding a swamp and reed beds. This is the home to a variety of deer, other animals and birds. Eagles and kites are also to be seen. In the reed beds, 
the herons, egrets and storks make their living. The vegetation of the park was a rich diversity of trees and plants. But today, two exotic tree species locally known as Babool and Besharam are spreading fast and threatening the park's ecosystem. The threat to the park is growing day by day and another account also. This was paucity of water. Pani jivan hai, pani saal. कीड़े मकोड़े पेड़ पौधे जीव जंतु पक्षी इंसान सबके लिए एक पानी का वो है पानी के बिना कुछ नहीं है अगर पानी पार्क में है तो ये पक्षी काफी तादाद में आप देख सकते हैं पानी आएगा इनको खाने को होगा तो ये रुकेंगे बिना पानी के कुछ नहीं रुकेगा मैं कहता हूँ सरकार को कुछ ऐसी जगह है जहाँ अगर वो झील है तो उनको बचाना चाहिए uh, the amount of uh, pollution we are generating. If you really want to uh, protect Mother Earth, then you have to be very careful. As the park was largely dependent on rainfall for maintenance of its water supply, droughts were a threat to its existence. Thus, the park needed to be supplied with water round the year, but over the period, supply of water was hardly sufficient to preserve the marshland, so tube wells were dug to provide ample water crucial for the survival of the park. A positive step in the direction of conservation of environment was the harnessing of solar energy to meet the energy requirement. Bharatpur was the paradise of birds sheltering around 350 local and migratory species of birds but since the drought of 1987 the park has yet to recover. The counting of birds every year has shown a decline in the number of birds coming to Bharatpur. In the park, we do three sensors uh, in a year. First is called water hole sensors, where we count the herbivores, carnivores and the animal population, which usually we used to do in May, June time. And the another is the heronary count, which is on uh, August, July, August, where we count the heronary species. And the third bird count is the migratory feed, the waterfowl sensors which we used to conduct in January, February. In that we have blocks, we uh, select the teams, we send them uh, to the different tracks and different for different blocks. Their people used to virtually, they have to count the each species and each individual. In that way, we used to get the uh, bird census here. Every year, our birds are counting. Like, which birds are, which species are, which birds are, which species are, which birds 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 are. तो हम एक कॉपी पर लिखते हैं फिर उस पर जितने बर्ड्स के नाम होते हैं हम अपने उसमें बर्ड्स पर नाम लिख लेते हैं मिंटल कितनी है सॉबलर कितनी है ग्रे हरॉन कितने इस एरिया में इतने हैं क्योंकि पूरे पार्क में हमारे लड़के लगा जाते हैं पहले ज़्यादा आती थी अब हर साल बर्ड्स कुछ कम होते हो गए कुछ तो हैवी टाट है कुछ पानी का प्रॉब्लम है और कुछ रास्ते में मौसम की वजह से कुछ बर्ड्स को मार लेते हैं ऐसे बर्ड्स कुछ कम हो रहे हैं Two seasons are special at Bharatpur, monsoon and winter. During this time, the sanctuary is a heaven on earth. Monsoon is the breeding season for many of the resident and locally migrant birds. Soon the tree are laden with nesting birds, egrets, herons, cormorants, ibises, painted stalks and darters. You can see several trees with birds of all kinds nesting together. At dawn and dusk, thousands of birds come and go seeking food and shelter. The atmosphere changes from the initial silence on the nesting tree to the noise of hungry young ones Fishing by birds is an art in itself.
Winter is the season for the migratory birds to arrive. They come from far off Siberia, Central Asia and Eastern Europe covering long distances in order to avoid the harsh winter weather. Not only birds such as storks and cranes but geese and ducks travel thousands of miles in search of food and water. Winter in Bharatpur is a sight to behold. The surkhab also comes in large numbers. The feathers of surkhab have been the subject of many an eastern tale and in the Indian subcontinent surkhab ke par is a popular idiom in the Urdu language. Bharatpur is a bird watcher's delight. The painted stalks is a voiceless bird stalking fish in shallow water and feeding its noisy young ones. Other types include the open-billed stalk and the black-necked stalk. It is a joy to see the cormorant and darters, the herons and egrets. I'm particularly interested in bird conservation. I volunteer for the British Trust for Ornithology Ringing Birds to study their migration. So it's very interesting to see here the safe place that birds have to come to when they migrate to uh, Barrett Purr. Um, also very interesting to see the same birds that we have, widgeon, shoveler, pintail, um, I've seen all of those today. Um, I think this is a wonderful wetland, a very safe place for the birds to be when they migrate and also very good for the resident birds as well and I'm very impressed with the, the conservation here. One of the leading attractions of Bharatpur are the cranes. The Saras crane is a common resident and held sacred all over the country. Once it was found a plenty in our villages. It is the tallest flying bird in the world. The nuptial dance of cranes is a sight to behold. With elaborate leaps, bows, capers and trumpeting. Reduction of habitat is now threatening the survival of the Saras crane. Also, it is falling victim to rampant use of pesticides and other chemicals. But the gem of Bharatpur was the Siberian crane, large, elegant, snow white in colour. Alas, today it is a rare and threatened species and no longer seen at Bharatpur. किसी जमाने में यहाँ साइबरिन केन आया करती थी लेकिन 2001 में आई और 2002 में गई वापस क्योंकि अब वो आती थी उस उस समय अक्टूबर में और जाना था मार्च में तो वो उसके बाद में 2003 से अब तक तो आया नहीं है कोई पक्षी। Birds of many kinds are to be found in this paradise of feathers. Also to be found in the sanctuary of various types of birds of prey like eagles, owls, smaller birds of Bharatpur include parrots, mena and the ever alert kingfisher. The day starts in Bharatpur with breathtaking scenes. You may by chance run into a leaping thumber Away in the grassland, dear Rome. The marshes are full of purple murans, coots, spotbill, and other ducks. Then come stalks, egrets, cormorant on the trees by the path. You may spy parrots. A python may stop at your feet. Furthers down, hold your breath. But mind your steps. We have a lot to protect from our heart and soul. 
if we're going to look after our nature, if we're going to even see that you, you, you are getting all, all over the world, concrete, 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 you are destroying the forest. If the present pace of urbanization and mindless destruction of natural habitat was to continue unchecked, the pressures of bursting human population may soon bring doom to the wetlands of Bharatpur. With the spread of irrigation, the surrounding areas have become increasingly cultivated. Forest has been destroyed. There's no flora you will find. So please try uh, this, uh, uh, with this media I would like to the world, to the people, new generation, if old people, they can understand us. Because I know that, that we used to say, you're going to have a lot of tree, then you're going to have a lot of rain, which is true. Bharatpur is now a dying sanctuary due to grazing by cattle and other pressures the environment has suffered. The rampant use of pesticides has led to such catastrophic results as the near extinction of vultures. Climate changes are taking place at a pace never seen before. Trees are dying, forests are being destroyed. As the rainfall is decreasing with the drop in water levels, the number of birds coming to Bharatpur are also falling. Wetlands like the one in Bharatpur are transitional ecosystems. They change their form over the years because of ecological succession, but human activity helps to maintain the transitional stage. We hardly get the rain over here. Thank to the government who really helping through the channel, through the chambal, through the other area to get the water. Otherwise, this place would have been finished. On the one hand, the ban on grazing was good. But now, the paspulum grass growing in the area, which had earlier been eaten by the cattle, is choking the wetland. Sadly, despite all the efforts to improve the situation, there were still too many unresolved problems. But one thing was clear, unless action was taken fast, it might be too late to save this heaven on earth for its birds. <laughs> <laughs>